After years of planning and construction, a Johnson City renovation of three former department stores downtown is complete. Yeah, the developer was hoping those Henry on Main buildings would be complete about two years ago. Uh, this is video you're seeing there from last August while renovations were still going. It involved overhauling nearly 100,000 square feet in the 300 block of East Main Street. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry toured the buildings to see what it looks like today. Jayana. Sarah, Casey, the residential spaces in on Henry at Maine maintain the integrity of the buildings that used to house many downtown historical spots. The developers kept that in mind when renovating. Three, two, one. The Henry on Main is now officially open as team members from the developers, residents, Johnson City Chamber of Commerce, and many more celebrated the three-year transformation. It's very much a more uh, contemporary urban apartment loft type feel with um, high volume ceilings, exposed original beams, some original exposed brick, uh, a lot of high-end finishes. Shane Abraham, CEO of Universal Living and co-CEO of Cox Universal Group, says they had many obstacles along the way from when they started this project in 2021. Limited labor and, and high construction costs that came throughout the pandemic. And then just still wondering that the marketability is still there. Do people want to still live in this environment? Abraham says 16 units out of 32 are already leased. The buildings where Henry on Main are located used to be a J.C. Penney store, Sears, and hands-on museum. Architect Katie Casebolt says they were able to salvage all parts for repurposing. So you're working with a lot of confined areas and trying to fit everything in. So every apartment is unique. It's all of them are, are a little bit different just to take advantage of the windows or just just the way that it laid out. So if you walk in one, the next one's going to be different. So every single one has its own little bit of character. Abraham says they had the location in mind when seeking this project out. You need uh, folks living down here on the sidewalks that their entire life pattern is, is, is focused down here. And, and so those folks, you know, it, you can't just have commerce down here. You can't just have retail and office. And you got to have folks really living down here to make this puzzle complete. Case Bolt says this was a project of passion and encourages investments in downtown. You know, it takes a lot to develop these old buildings. Their team has spent all of this money putting it into the downtown because it's just such an important building. And um, I would encourage others to revitalize their downtown. The old hands-on museum space is still available to lease. Shane Abraham says those interested can reach out to Mitch Cox Realty and for residential spaces you can contact Universal Living. Casey.